Hello everybody, it's time for another story with me, Miss Ellis. So this channel is my favourite excuse to buy new books. Not that I need an excuse, I just love books too much. So this one I saw advertised online and I just thought this is perfect, I've got to read it. And trust me, it's a good one. So the book is called The Invisible and the author is Tom Percival. So I don't think I've read any of his stories just yet, um, but I think I'm definitely going to be buying some more because this one is great. So get yourself nice and comfortable. Let's begin. Isabel pulled on her favourite jumper. Ice curled across the inside of the window and crept up the corner of her bedpost. It was very beautiful and Isabel always noticed beautiful things. But there was no escaping the fact that it was also cold, very cold. It does it look very cold, doesn't it? I think it must be winter, mustn't it? You see, Isabel's family couldn't afford to have the heating on. Isabel's family couldn't afford to do a lot of things. Things that some people take for granted. But Isabel tried not to worry about the things she didn't have. After all, she had her family, had everything that they needed. They had each other. But one day, there just wasn't enough money to pay the rent and all the bills. Isabel and her family had to leave their home, the house which held all their happy memories and move to the far side of the city. That can be a scary thing, can't it, moving house? Especially if it's somewhere that you don't know. For the first time ever, Isabel couldn't find anything beautiful to cheer her up. Oh, she looks sad as well, doesn't she? Show me some sad faces. This part of the city looks exactly how she felt. Cold, sad and lonely. A family drove past in a shiny car, but they looked straight through Isabel as though she wasn't even there. None of the other smartly dressed people seemed to see her either. Isabel looked down and realised that she could barely see her own hands or her feet. She was fading away. Before long, Isabel was completely invisible. She drifted silently down the streets as pale and thin as the wind. And nobody saw her at all. How do you think Isabel's feeling? She doesn't look very happy, does she? But now that Isabel was invi invisible, she noticed something she hadn't seen before. Other invisible people, lots of them. There was an old lady painting flowers in empty paint pots. There was the man who slept on a bench feeding the birds in the park. And 
There was the boy who had been forced to leave his home in another country, helping to mend someone else's bike. But they all seemed so alone. Isabel decided to help. She planted flowers in the paint pots. She looked after stray animals. And she helped to fix things up. Then day by day and week by week, other people joined in too. And the more people that came together, the more that they could be seen. Look at them, they look like they're working hard, don't they? Soon, Isabel wasn't just visible. She was vibrant. And so was her new home. Look at them, they look happy, don't they? And that was how Isabel made something very special. One of the hardest things that anyone can make. Isabel had made a difference. Look at that community there now, look. There's actually a little note from the author there about his his background and about why he wrote why he's written this story it's very interesting this book is all about real people with real problems and i think it just takes that initial step to make that difference doesn't it all she did was start helping helping to plant those pots and before you know it that means other people are helping and then that's what makes the difference, isn't it? You just need to make that initial step forward. I love this book, it's great, isn't it? Such a positive message for us all to learn from. So I hope you enjoyed it too. You take care of yourselves and I'll see you for another story soon. Bye. If you like that story, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel, Love to Learn with Miss Ellis. Take care. Bye for now.